Hey everyone, Tim Burris here. Uh, I was just getting ready to create a couple of uh, SQL Server database tables uh, from our Microsoft SQL Server database, and I thought it'd be a good chance to uh, to put together a short video that, that demonstrates what it's like uh, creating database tables in DataGrip, which is a tool by JetBrains, versus SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, so this is this is a real world. This is what I actually need to do. I am going to do this in a in a ball of mud kind of database, this temp database, because it is for a client, and I don't want to give away any secrets. But outside of that, these are this these are the real steps that I need to perform to create a couple of tables. So I already have this profile table here, and I have it over here in um, Management Studio as well. And uh, so I need to create a profile run table and a profile run status table. And that status table is really just a lookup um, for, for the profile run table. So we'll get started. We'll create that, that lookup table first. So in, in data grip, we new table, profile run status for the table name. Do the same steps over here in management studio, new table, F4 to bring up properties, name it profile run status. Good. So now we'll uh, we'll go ahead and create a primary key. We'll do it in data grip. So we will create profile run status ID. It'll be an integer, and um, we will make it a not null auto incrementing auto incrementing primary key. Uh, same thing in Management Studio. This will be profile run status ID integer not null. Scroll down, find the identity, make it identity, and make it a primary key. Boom. All right, next up, just one more column for this table. It'll be a name column. It'll be an invar car 100. And this will be not null, and we want to make sure it's unique. And then we'll do the same thing for Management Studio. Name, invar car 100, not null uh, for the constraint we'll need to go to the indexes and keys create one make that for the name column boom and change it to be a unique key great now what I actually need is just the SQL for these because I'm using a, a version control system so I don't actually need to create these tables I just need to be able to grab the SQL script so for data grip uh, pretty simple it's in this window here I'll grab it uh, put, plug it into my version control, which I've done, uh, so I don't need this window anymore. And then for Management Studio, uh, to get the script, just right click, um, change, generate change script, and then I just come down and grab the uh, the meat of this. I don't need all the, the noise around it. Uh, and then just copy that. So my version control, I'll go ahead and apply that. So boom, the database, that table now exists in my database. So I can close these guys out. And I'll go ahead and create my second table, which would be the profile run table. So I'll just do a new table. I will call it profile run. Uh, same thing in Management Studio, new table. Give it a name, profile run. Perfect. Uh, we'll create a primary key, but this time, uh, instead of an integer. We're going to make this a GUID, so it'll be a unique identifier. Uh, the default will be new ID, and it will be a non-null primary key. We'll do the same thing here in Management Studio, so profile run ID unique identifier. Got it right. Man, genius. Alrighty, so the default will be new ID. And we will make this a primary key. So great. Now uh, we're going to create our link back to our status table. So a new column for profile run status ID, which was an integer. It will be a not null. And we want to foreign key it over to the table we already created. So uh, we hit the foreign key. We choose the target table, which will be profile run status. So here we are with the first issue in uh, data grip. So that table has been created behind the scenes uh, using my version control, uh, but DataCrypt doesn't know that, that it was that it was added. Um, and um, so we would need to refresh our schema. The problem is uh, we can't refresh because the create new table dialog is modal. So when we're creating a table, we cannot refresh. So we're just gonna have to know that it exists 
uh, prove our run status. We'll add our, our column. So our, this table will be from the profile run table, the status ID. And then in the two, we know it's going to be the same profile run status ID. Uh, unfortunately, no IntelliSense because it doesn't know that table exists. Alrighty, we'll do the same thing over in Management Studio. So we will do profile run status ID. It'll be a integer, not null. We will add a relationship, add. Um, source will be profile run status, profile run status ID, profile run status ID. Boom. Um, all that's good. Okay, so we've added our foreign key. Next up, we'll create um, we'll create a, a couple of more fields. We're going to link over to our profile table. Uh, also, a unique identifier. It'll be a not null foreign key. We'll add a new one. This time, luckily, that table it already knows it exists, so we can link to profile. And instead of the profile run ID, this will be the profile ID and uh, profile ID. So great. So it's already got that. So when it knows about the table, for sure, works pretty great. Um, over here, profile ID, unique identifier. Boom. Add another foreign key. Tables, profile, profile ID, profile ID. I'm not going to set any cascading. So, boom. Good for that. Alrighty, we'll finish uh, adding out some of these columns. Uh, we'll do a start date time, which will be a date time offset. Uh, no default. We will uh, not. Uh, it will not allow null. Uh, we'll do the same thing here. Start date time. Date time offset. Uh, not null. Next up will be an end date time. Also date time offset. This one will allow null, so we'll just leave that. Great. Okay, and we'll just finish these uh, columns out. I'm actually just going ahead and finish all of them in Data Grip, and then I'll switch over to, to Management Studio. So we will do a created on, which will be a date time offset. The default will be get UTC date, and uh, it will not allow null. We will have a created by, created by. Uh, that will be a unique identifier. It will not allow null. It will have a foreign key over to the user table, the user profile table. Boom. Uh, and so the created by links over to user ID. Perfect. And a few more columns here. We will go with an updated, updated on date time offset. It, uh, it allows null, no default value, good. And an updated by, updated by. Unique identifier, allows null, has a foreign key back to the user table again. So user profile, boom, column, updated by, over to the user ID. Perfect. So uh, now we finished it out. We have our SQL script here from Data Grip. So I would just uh, grab this whole guy, put him in my version control, ready to go. Uh, we'll finish this out in Management Studio just so we can see. So we went with a start date. Oh, we already have start date time. My apologies. We are on the created. So we want to create it on. That'll be a date time offset. Cannot be null. Needs a default value of get UTC date and we needed a created by which will be a unique identifier 
it will have we'll do our foreign keys all at the same time here updated on because this is how I'd actually do it I, I want to make sure I'm following how I would do it in management studio so this would be date time offset that can be null a uh, updated by unique identifier yeah, it's a little crazy switching between the two uh, getting lost where I was creating the table but okay so that's not null Alrighty, and let's uh, let's go ahead and add a couple of relationships back to the um, user profile table. So first up, user profile, boom. So that means the user ID will point to the created by. Perfect. And we'll do the same thing for the updated, the user profile table. Where's that little fella? There you are. And column will be the user ID column. There we go. It'll join over to the updated by column. Boom. Alrighty, so we have all of those. And uh, to grab our script, we we'll just right click, hit generate script. Alrighty, so there we go. And then we would just go through and pick out just the pieces of the SQL that we need um, for our create script. And that's it. That's how we that's how we would create both of the tables um, in Data Grip versus SQL Server Management Studio with some semi complex uh, things. At least we have foreign keys, unique constraints, and all that. So you can kind of see day to day what it's like uh, using uh, Data Grip to create that table versus using Management Studio to create that table. So that's all I got. Special thanks to my two dogs, Willow and Salem. Somehow they managed to be completely silent for the entire recording of this video. So that's quite an accomplishment. Appreciate it. You guys have a fantastic day.